what's good, y'all? Shout out to everybody be fucking with me. I fuck with y'all. You know what I mean? Shout out to the new subscribers. Shout out to Sarah Devon. The bomb, my bad. If y'all haven't seen that video, you did. I retweeted it. Go check it out to see, uh, or check his channel while I see me in the video that he edited. More work from us coming soon. Shout out to him. But let's talk about the GB and Migos beef. So, the chain has been took from Quavo, and now Quavo has released a video stating nothing happened to him. When we seen the video, now we know who the nigga was that actually took the chain. He had something to do with the slutty boys, but then Fat Trail came out on Twitter and said, don't mix me into that situation, which is crazy. It's like, if you are the leader of the slutty boys, of course you're going to be into that. But I just think the whole shit is funny to come out when the world has seen your chain got taken. He's holding it in a video, showing his face like... What's up, nigga? Your chain. I got it. You know what I'm saying? Because him and uh dude that took the chain and um, Capo was FaceTiming. I thought that was crazy. And then this nigga Quavo came out with a video. I guess they walked through the airport. You see niggas count money and talk about, come on, man. My chain got to, come on, man. Y'all fool. Like, you know how that nigga talking and all that, but swallow your pride. You got your shit took. It happens to the best of them, nigga. Why are you acting like a bitch over? You got your shit took, nigga? Nine times ten, when niggas get their chain took, you feel me? Either they want stacks, ten, twenty stacks for it back, you know what I'm saying? Or, or basically call it a rap, and, and that's not going away, nigga. That's a moment in hip hop, nigga. You got your chain took. So it is what it is. A lot of niggas happen to a gunplay, got his shit took. You know what I'm saying? So it's not really a big thing. Young Berg used to get his shit took. Um, a lot of people got their chain took. So it is what it is. Like, I mean, remember when 50 was an African nation? That's his chain? Like, come on, man. Like, it's not a big deal, you know what I'm saying? It's better that it happened the way it happened or in the streets because nine times ten you could have smoked over your shit. You famous and you in a hood stand? Fuck it, you know what I'm saying? He get triple strikes because he took your chain and he popped your ass. You know what I'm saying? So Quavo, call it a loss. And I heard the niggas that actually did, did take the nigga chain did a fucking vi a song talking about the shit. If you go to, I, I forgot if the video's still up, but he's in a car showing the chain off and in the background the music is playing, you could hear the like, clear him say Quavo got his chain took some shit I don't know man I thought that shit was hilarious to see that shit like damn not only did you get your chain took nigga said fuck it showed his face which let's face it I'm not gonna talk about it but it's other people that does other channels that talk about it that kind of is incriminating yourself you feel what I'm saying like not really but then it's like okay if you not the nigga that took it and you just put your face out there with the chain okay that's one thing, but if you are the nigga that took it, and boom, in court, it's a wrap. If, I'm not saying he would press charges, but I'm just saying I've been in court on a lot of shit that I've done, and it's like, yo, don't do shit and picture yourself in pictures. That's incriminating yourself. Don't admit to shit. You feel me? Like, no, that wasn't me. I don't know who the fuck that was. He looked like me. You feel what I'm saying? I just think it's crazy. FaceTiming. We see how the police go on social media and nap your ass, and it is what it is, but... Ain't too much I can say about it. I mean, guys chain to, guys chain to. I mean, call a rap. You, you Migos, you, you cross country famous, go buy another chain. Fuck it. What more can you do to keep this shit going? Like, what? The next thing that's going to happen is somebody going to get killed. That's it. What can you do? You feel what I'm saying? It's going to be some other shit. Now it's not over Chicago niggas you in it with. Now it's DC. So it's like, yo, call it a rap. You got your chain took. Get on this motherfucker. Get on YouTube. Get on whatever platform you say. And be a man about like, yeah, I got my shit took. I didn't go out like a sucker. But I heard that, you know I mean? They say he got punched in his shit and his shit was all bloody and shit. I mean, from the looks of the video, I mean, he didn't look all fucked up in his face and everything. Because regularly they wear glasses. And when he, he talk about, it guys like, I guess he Instagram or some shit. He ain't got no bruises on his face. So who knows about that? But I don't know. These niggas need to come do an interview or something. Migos do interviews. Like, what happened? Y'all was on Vlad TV talking about the Chief Keef shit. Had no problem with it. You need to call Vlad, get on Vlad, and say what happened. Because we all see it. But I don't be the one to go for what I see. I want to know factual. Like, if something happened to me and niggas get on Twitter or Instagram and say some shit, nah, you can't believe that. Come ask me, because I'll tell you what the fuck happened. Who the fuck got time to lie? But that's the difference between a real nigga and these fake-ass niggas. Niggas that be acting real. Y'all be hiding behind money and all material shit, but without it, you, you ain't shit. Like... That's just from what I hear from bitches. They be hitting me up, you know, IG and all type of shit. Be letting me, these niggas is fool, bro. Like, for real. Like, money don't make you who you is. Like, a nigga can cut me a check for $3 million tomorrow. I'm going to still be the same. Me still do videos with no editing. Still go buy sneakers and all type of shit. You know, travel and all that. But niggas just get money and think they the shit. That shows that a nigga that didn't have no money, when they finally get it, they act all whatever. Like, I didn't have money, then lost it. 
got money again, lost it, got money and so it fluctuates, you feel me? But I still been the same me. That's why you can never hear no motherfucker say, Oh, he's fake or he's fraud, he's not a real nigga. Like I'm a real nigga. Like, you know what I'm saying? Depends on what you call a real nigga. Money and cars and clothes and that shit don't make you a real nigga. It come from within. So if he got his chain took, in my opinion, and he lying about it and flexing, he ain't a real nigga for that. You feel me? Because if you got your shit took and we see it, just say, yeah, I, I got my shit took, got into us some niggas and my chain got took. Or it came off in a scuffle or whatever. But just be real. If a nigga snatch your shit off or you was fighting or whatever and it came off, because I showed y'all, it's hard to get a chain to fall from over. You got to be damn near all the way down for the motherfucker to fall off your neck. Even if you get hit, motherfucker ain't even come off. So he just got to be a real nigga about it, man. But... I don't know. Capo should stop like flexing because nigga, you didn't put in that work. Somebody else did it. You feel me? It shows you got range of a little bit of power. But me being me, I ain't think it really came from him. It probably came from Chief Keep having affiliation with whoever. I'm just saying, allegedly, you know what I'm saying, that handles that. You feel what I'm saying? So at the end of the day, don't take bragging rights for something you didn't do. But you should redeem your motherfucking self by catching one of them niggas by themselves at their next show, and nigga, you go ahead up with them. I mean, we seen what happened with the DJ Mustard and Mr. Fab shit, right? Say what you want, but at least he ain't go out. He approached him and boom, boom, boom. You feel what I'm saying? So that's just my point of view on a situation. Y'all let me know what y'all think. Real niggas out there, stand up. No fake niggas. Don't comment on my shit. And thanks for the support and love, man. One.